I'm sorry, I was mezzo clocking. CO was calling me out. Hi, CO. Hi, Nala. Hi, Dylan. Hi, May. Hi, Lisa. Nixie. Hello, hello, everybody. Amethyst. Po Polnico. I feel like we've been through this. Some of the names sometimes. I still get tripped up. I need to watch Gavin's Titanic video. I saw that I was mentioned in it. Hi, Shay. How's everyone doing today? Somebody in one hole for- I'm sorry! I'm so sorry. Hi, Dejan. Hi, Tyler. It is hard for me, Miles, in the morning, okay? Okay? Thank you. I... My hair is a mess. It's a mess. I did go orange. I didn't... Come on, everybody! Do a little clap. Come on, everybody. Just do a little clap. Hi, G. Carmeline, hello. Hi, Leanne. Oh, my God. You're still back, Keisha! Looks more strawberry. So, that's the thing. It does in this lighting. You guys are going to see it. So, it... Weirdly, when I was washing it, it kind of looked pink in sections. It looks lighter for you all than it does for me. It's pretty orange in real life, but I went a little darker than what I want because the sun is going to bleach this shit out. And it's going to make it, hopefully, the strawberry blonde that I want. I did mess up a little bit because I toned my hair yesterday and if I had realized, if I had made the decision to go orange sooner, because I was stuck between orange, purple, and purple, and pink. If I had made the decision sooner, I wouldn't have toned it. Because that would have made a brighter color, and also my ends would not look dull. Because right now my ends are a little too dark. I would have liked them to have been the bright white that they were, but it's fine. It's fine. Well, I'll go have to go purple afterwards to tone back out the orange. The only thing I'm really unhappy about are my roots. Oh, how? I'm undecided if I'm going to go back in on the roots at some point, but I think I just have to be done. At some point, I just have to be done. You What's know? up, bitches? You're going thrifting? That's exciting. Goob, goob, gooby. Zampa! <gasps> Thank you for 16 months, friend! We missed you on Tuesday. We missed you. It will get lighter in the sun. It will also get lighter uh, from washing it. This is just a semi-permanent color. But orange can stain. The only thing is, is I don't think it's really going to this time. Because... My hair had already had something on it, basically. And I don't think, I don't think the follicles were open enough to fully accept the hair. You know? Oh, how? I really need a hair oil. I've used up all my hair oil, but these ends are looking, they're looking rough, okay? Have my jewelry inspected and go, ooh, groceries, oh my god, ooh. You fellas, I figured them, it's okay, it's okay. We had some, we had, I think, one of the weirdest games to date. It was such a weird time. Ma'am, what do you mean, Deja? What do you mean? Forehead kisses? Mwah! Everyone here gets forehead kisses. You can get your, why does it do that? Why does it do that? User is giving... Two. I always want to read it, two sir. Two sir. Why did it do it twice? That's weird. Yeah, two sir. Hi, Mila. Yeah, sometimes you have to get your jewelry inspected if there could be a crack or one of the. What are those things called that like hold it in place? Can be broken. Sometimes they need a cleaning. 
Probably because you've been working a lot, Fim. One night bot, one streamer. So the streamer bot, yeah. Let me open up stream. Maybe I'll just turn it off in streamer bot. And cause it's probably, I probably had it and didn't have it on before. And I probably re-enabled it, not knowing. Not enabled. Okay, I've disabled streamer bot. Yeah, inspections, yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's your birthday, Mila! Happy freaking birthday! Happy freaking birthday, Mila! Do you have any plans today? Do, do for the birthday, bitch. Happy Rub it up for the birthday, bitch. Rub it up. It's a birthday, bitch. Indie horror indie brawl. Ooh. Anything good so far? Happy freaking birthday, y'all. I'm excited, but I'm also nervous for, for my trip. I don't feel prepared. I'm not ready. Just did it with you, Dad. You know what? That sounds like a good plan, though. I will gladly accept dinner any any day. Well, get ready. <laughs> Hi, Tian. That's what today is for. Yeah. I have somewhat of a list of things to do. I also would like to finish. I started cleaning my house yesterday. Does anyone else feel they have to do like kind of like a big clean of their house before they go on vacation? I started cleaning yesterday, but I lost momentum pr pretty, pretty early on. I did the kitchen and the bedroom. When you trip in this week, this is my last stream until not not this week but next thursday after so you guys are gonna go a week and a half without me i don't know how we're gonna survive especially my car i don't ever feel the need to clean my car <laughs> this is why dylan and i are made to be no and yes it's like damn this looks great oh no that's the thing though no that doesn't happen in our house um what happens is the cats just take over when we're gone and everything is covered in hair. I swear to God we're gone and we come back and it's just covered in hair and everything stinks. Mess overwhelms you when you get back, yeah. Need to do the bath, yeah, the bathroom. My library could use a tidying, but I don't know if I'm gonna get to that. And I definitely need a vacuum and uh, do the floor cleaning. Just stream during your trip. I mean, maybe. Last time I did stream the Eiffel Tower in Discord. I love cleaning my car. My car has, like, if Brian basically doesn't make me clean it, <laughs> it doesn't get clean. Last minute cosplay flirt, so I don't have time to clean. That's fair. We go. We are going to the Bahamas. But that's all the information I shall give from that. We gonna miss I'm gonna miss you guys. I'll definitely be in the Discord. Popping in and out. Now I know. They, it comes so quickly and then it's here and you're like, oh my god, I did take off the day before vacation, and I think two days after vacation, so I have some time to like So I don't have to I hate coming back from vacation and immediately going back to work. I hate it. That's the thing. My library tidying my library you all don't see it because you guys get to see the clean part of my library but it's a dumping ground for me anything i don't necessarily know what to do with in the moment i put in my library on the floor so it's always it's always a side of it is always a mess what you're not giving the address no mm -mm. no i'm not gonna tell you what i'm doing 42 wallaby way sydney just the coordinates, yeah. I have also never been to the Bahamas. Um, it hasn't necessarily been one that I've been like, I don't know, I guess because I've gone to like Cancun and stuff and I always assume that like 
kind of similar in a way. But I'm excited. It's gonna be, I'm going with some friends. What's the F SPF 50? Uh, there's been studies that have shown anything over 50 doesn't really help that much more. Also, the best brand is the Walmart generic brand. Another thing that they did a study on, and the Walmart generic brand did the best at helping. I was when I was like four, okay. Uh, it is not America. Bahama is its own thing. You do need a passport. It's its own thing. Own country. Best at helping what? At helping protect against the sun. I always bring aloe. I always bring aloe tea. Well, mostly I make Brian take the aloe because he ne he needs it normally more than I do. Jerk target. Wonder if they're the same. Maybe. I mean, any sunblock is better than no sunblock. I bought some screen yesterday. Me mom will be so proud. I didn't ever think that sunscreen was going to become like the thing that I was going to be known for, but I feel like I'm on my way. You know? That is the one thing I do. I made a shopping list because I'm going shopping before we go. And I need to get some more sunblock because we have we have a travel sunblock. But I'm afraid because it's from last year. I'm afraid it might be even somewhat expired. So I want to get fresh. Kind of something you shouldn't have. Oh no, that sucks. Neutrogena Kids. Yes, uh, I do use Neutrogena Kids. Kids sunblock is fantastic for especially face. Because it's meant for their little bodies that are they that aren't they're much more susceptible to the burns. Bertoli? What even is that? <laughs> that sun dried to oh my god. Yeah, check your sunscreen. If you've had it for a few years, you might need some new. You might need some new. I don't tend to love the spray sunscreen, but it works. I like it when I'm traveling because it kind of like once you've applied a normal layer, it almost feels like a What am I trying to say? Like a like a touch up almost? I'm writing down hair oil. I need hair oil. I bought hair oil that's supposed to like add shine. Didn't know I needed to do it with a hair dryer. Maddie! Hair oiled? <laughs> hair oiled? <laughs> Gumi. Why is Gumi the funniest person ever? <laughs> Need to buy new sunscreen? Expires in 12. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> now go nap on the couch. <laughs> Maddie, thank you so much for 26 months. I was uh, referring to. We were talking about BookTube the other day, and I was referring people to your iceberg video so that they could catch up on all the BookTube drama that has happened in the history of booktube <laughs> oh my god not the madison <laughs> not keisha with the madison <laughs> oh my god she's in trouble <laughs> Glad we're having a sunscreen talk after- Yeah, it's really good! I- yeah, I mean, I know that- So... Sunscreen really just helps prevent it. It's- or like a- not like fully prevent it, but... 
you know, lessens your chances, I guess. Not really so much prevent, but lessens your chances of getting it. I I don't I didn't add my daily dose to my bags yet. Cause I'm still using them. Yeah, but it doesn't it doesn't necessarily stop you from getting it, but it greatly increases your risk. What about your other my what? What are you saying to me? Yeah, it helps with the risk factors. Yeah, because I was like, when I was at the doctor and they were telling me, I'm like, I don't understand. Like, I use sunscreen. Shut the fuck up. You're a fucking cunt. Shut the fuck up. You're a stupid cunt. Suck my dick. <laughs> Oh my god. I also thought you meant wine. That's very not cool. No, it's not cool. Yeah, when I was at the doctors and they were telling me, I'm like, I don't understand because like I was like, I don't, I rarely go outside and when I do, I'm covered head to toe in sunscreen. I'm like, I, and then I was like, cause I've always heard that like you get, the more you're out in the sun, you get moles. Which is not true, but I had been told that multiple times throughout my life, and that is just not true at all. Because I was like, I, w I have moles, I said I have moles all over my back, and I don't ever go outside and show my back. Like, my back is almost always covered. And uh, moles are just hereditary. <laughs> so I was like, fuck this one. And no, like, literally, it was like, allergic to the sun? We're gonna fuck you up. That's why when everyone was talking about the eclipse, I was like, me and the sun got beef. I don't give a fuck what the sun is doing, okay? I'm minding my business. The sun can do what it wants, okay? I'm minding my... Fuck the sun. <laughs> got fired from my job? Oh my god. Why are you all having, like, Life crisis dreams. I don't like this. Fuck the sun. <laughs> I love the sun, but it's mean to me. Cause I'm a vegetarian and I ain't fucking scared of it. She wants to touch me, woo. She wants to love me, woo. She'll never leave me, woo. Woo, woo, woo. We love a good throwback jam. I know that's what you all wanted from me this morning. For moles and freckles? Yeah. Can I see the sweater? Speed demon. <laughs> it's really cute. I had to have it. It was super cute. Red, cause that meant I could take a long walk. Oh my god! Uh, yeah, I had I had hair dye in my hair. No, I bought this. It's the from the same place I got the sticker. I gotta give you. It's from the same this place, and then I also got a bumper sticker that says, "My other ride is a deteriorating body, a a bag of flesh and bones, or something like that." Yeah. Getting cancer is so complicated. It really is. It can also be hereditary. Um, breast cancer runs in my family. Uh, my mom was very concerned. This is wild to me because my mom wasn't so much concerned that she was going to get it, but she was more concerned that she would pass it to me because a lot of the times it will skip generations. And so she went and actually did went and got a lot of testing done to find out if she even carry the gene at all so um the the good news is is that she apparently does not carry the gene so there isn't really a chance that she could pass that to me but it doesn't necessarily rule it out because there's plenty of other factors that go into it it's, it's such a complicated 
which like I'm sure is why there's rarely a good way to cure it because it's such a complicated process and such a complicated disease truly crazy I didn't get my word games ready today I'm slacking Yep, and each one is different. I mean, I feel like at this point, like breathing air, especially in the, especially in this economy, breathing air will cause it. Thank you for the lurk. I appreciate it. Yep. And then, yeah, and they're all different. Well, that's the thing. Um, Cause my mom, when I told her, I said, you know, I mean, take it! When I said I had skin cancer, she was like, oh, well, that's fine. You can't, you can't die of skin cancer. And I was like, well, I have melanoma, which you can die from. <laughs> yeah, thank you so much for two months. Go get some food. I'm gonna remove those things one way or another, right? Who needs air these days? Like, it's, yeah, it's unavoidable. Everything that is manufactured this day has something in it that is harmful to your body. Like, everything. So, um, the only thing, the good thing is, is that skin cancer is, like, 90% treatable. So, that is the good, the good thing. We're drowning in oxygen. I'm gonna stretch your shower so I won't be stinky. What if we like you, stinky? What if, what if we like it? Yeah, I saw lead in Lunchables. Anyway. <laughs> anyway, hey, should I put the... I forgot to put the to-do timer up for everyone. The to-do scene up for everyone. I'm not feeling this color today. Hang on. I'm not feeling this. One moment. The screen's gonna go black. One moment. Uh, interact. School lunch for making even worse. Oh my god. I'm thinking purple today. How y'all feel about purple today? I could go orange today. Everyone panic! Everyone! I I feel like I should make some coffee. All oh, the secrets. Oh my god, y'all don't want to see my OBS. I am a, a nester uh when it comes to scenes. Hi Sam. So my <laughs> OBS looks kind of insane, but it does mean it Okay, it does mean that when I change something, it automatically changes everywhere else. What does it mean, Mima? What does it mean? What does it mean? Whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm a nester. <laughs> a downstream keyer. I don't know what that means. I'm gonna be honest, I do not know what that means. If you explain it to me, I probably understand the concept. But I don't know if I know that terminology. Is the orange too much? Is it too much? Like when I go to do this, is it going to be... Not the weird glow around everything. Also, where's my game? Hello, game? It says it's capturing... But I don't see it capturing. Excuse me. Um, excuse me. Turns the seed into a global necessity. Oh, I see. Oh. I see. No. 
not lonely e-girl. <laughs> oh no. Just had, had empty no thoughts. I really love. I really love um, doing OBS stuff and stream stuff. I find it very fun. Ain't got me for bots today. Oh, man, she was just lonely, you know? All right, one moment. I'm also not. This orange is... I feel like this orange is just a tad too bright for us. Let's do... We'll do purple. Is there a darker purple? <laughs> this is... I want a dark... I want all the dark options. There's not enough dark options for my little goth heart to be happy. I still don't know why the game capture isn't capturing. Hey, you guys! Hi, Strange! She give me low with all the other peeps. <laughs> <laughs> The, oh, the blue could be nice, too. Hang on, let's... Pfft. How many times can we do this today? I do like this blue. Oh, the, I don't like the white the white backgrounds. Yeah, let's do... Let's do that. Oh, that looks... That looks good. Huh? Except for my game isn't here. <laughs> Do I have to, like, fit to screen? Like, did my game go somewhere? I'm so confused, everybody. I've even tried to select, like, something else. Like, uh, and try to do it this way. Okay, let's do my voice mod. We'll go back and we'll hit it again. I don't understand. If I go to my game... Is it here? What in the hickety heck, y'all? Okay, I'm gonna remove this one. Oh, there it is! That's weird. That's suspicious. I don't know. Don't ask me what it's doing. All right, I think I have enough for the, um, whatchamacallit? The one, hang on, I am gonna go. Is it showing here now? Yeah, okay. I'll fucking know, y'all. You know, Lily, it's so cute. It's so cute. I think I have enough. I got enough for the kitty. Oh my gosh! I love it. He busy it? Okay. It's so cute! The little void kitty really is so cute. So we have all the cats now unlocked. Um, I think I'm just gonna go through and just start unlocking all of them. So, there's that one, and then we'll get this one once we have enough. For that little guy, oh my goodness. All right, I think we should run the Void Kitty first. Yeah, you buy them. Yeah, I have all those. I have all of them unlocked. I don't know. YouTube is just like so, so it's mostly just YouTube. And the good thing with Twitch is that you can choose like you all could hear most of the time when I play music on Twitch, you all hear it, but the VOD doesn't have it at all. So it doesn't get copyrighted. And I wish YouTube had that ability because there's also times when like you don't always have full control over the sounds that make it. Like, you could go to play something and a sound will make it there and you could get...
copyrighted for it. So, I do kind of wish that they had that. All right. Let's set up our little scene. I think I'm going to start at the at the desk. I do wish they had like a little cleaning mode. Like the full view had like a little cleaning mode or something. That could be kind of fun. Okay. I do have a full to-do list of things that I need to do today. Um... Hmm. Oh, re-dye hair. I did that. Alright, let me go back here. Actually, first we're gonna do our word games. Sorry, we're gonna do our word games first. That's what we're gonna do. And then we'll start... Then we'll do a sprint. That's not... What I wanted. <laughs> I want the screen. What? Yeah. They're heavy. <laughs> Is Re here? She's a genius, right? We're games! Same setup on the back wall except the wallpaper is different. There's, I mean, there's really not a ton of different uh, options yet, I feel. I'm procrastinating so this stream will help, really help me. I believe in you. I think it will be amazing and you'll feel so much better once you start it. Get connected for free. All right. Wedding spirit drill, fryer, American Sundry Monkey Wrench Routine Yank United ex Exercise Tier Frontier Practice Rip. Why was that so hard? I'm gonna poop my pants! I'm gonna poop my pants too. Only if Dylan streams for us on Tuesday though. That's the requirement. Just saying. Oh my god, you guys have like a purple gradient going on right there. I was gonna poop T's pants. I mean, if she leaves her pants laying around, maybe. Come on, everybody! Do a little poop. Come on, everybody. Just do a little poop. Come on. I'm gonna start singing that to Frankie when she won't shit. Come on, little Frankie. Just do a little poop. Come on, little Frankie. Just do a little poop. It'll be great. I think she'll feel really excited about it yank tear rip what else did we say wrench <laughs> i would <laughs> the neighbors see me out there come on little freaking just do a little poop <laughs> i'll be like mm, okay oh my gosh uh okay okay there's a monkey wrench but that's it <laughs> Monkey bar? Sundry? I don't really know. A very strange topic. Oh, airlines. American, United, Spirit, Frontier, airlines. Nice. You ace. You ace. <laughs> you ace. US based airlines? My goodness. From SpongeBob SquarePants. <laughs> oh, drill. You know, I wasn't thinking drill like that. Drill, routine, exercise, practice. I wasn't thinking about it like that. Beachy things? <laughs> Why, yes. Yes, I am. <laughs> Why, yes, I am. I don't... Well, the rest of these things aren't necessarily beach things, though. We have monkey, sundry, fryer, wedding. Like, what? What? Monday, Sunday, Friday, Wednesday, way to go. First part, days of the week. 
Nice. Nice. All right, uh, hang on. I didn't open up the Conexo. All right, cake. Why is this so high up? Cake show, Chimera Blue, Hydra Black, Aperture, Tuscan, Centaur Gun, Mesa Orange, Phoenix Green, Basilix, and Tempe. Art games that makes me feel so dumb? I believe in you. Cake by the ocean. A centaur gun. There's this one's always tricky though. See, this one's always tricky because sometimes they there's some that overlap. Hydra Phoenix Basco Basculus. Yeah. Chimera, Hydra, Centaur. Nice. Phoenix and these are places, right? Places? Yep. Portal stuff? Hi, Ree! We were just looking for you. <laughs> <laughs> Colors? Wow, they did not get creative with that one at all. Portals? Oh! The cake is a lie! The cake is a lie! Wow! I love that. I used to listen to the song all the time. I've never played Portal. I watched uh, my cousins lived with us for a while and I would watch my cousins play Portal. I was obsessed with watching Portal. Didn't even get a slice. <gasps> Gumi, did you did you kick them all out? Did you tell them never again? Portal seems like a game that you would love, Dylan. I saw Tian also really loved Outer Wilds, which also see that's what I think that's one of Dylan's favorites. So that makes sense. <laughs> I just assume that one or the other will just enjoy whatever the other one likes at this point. Hi, Jill! Def recommend you giving a go sometime? I don't know if it's necessarily something I would enjoy playing myself, though. I love- there are a lot of games that I love watching, but I have just found that, like, I don't like them. Oh, uh, like, Outer Wilds, I will love- I love to watch people play, but I don't think I would ever have the patience to play it. All right, I'm gonna guess the bad word of the day and I am going to guess water. Okay, what do we got? Email. Doesn't say, I think it's more of like, I don't tend to, I don't necessarily mind puzzle games, so to say, but I think it's just like, more of the like eight hour, 10 hour gameplay games that have like a story around them. Like I hated Dead Space and I just like have a hard time with those. The only ones that I have enjoyed are the ones that are like the choices games, I guess. Like I like shorter games. I don't, I don't really know. I don't really know what it is about it. I think Cause then again, I loved, um, oh my God. What, what was that game? Bramble. Like I loved Bramble, but I don't know if that's, I don't know what's different about it, I guess. You can ring my bell. 
you can ring my bell, ring my bell, ring a ling a ling. I think too, I have such a short, although I love MMOs, I feel like I just have such a short attention for things, but then I also love Baldur's Gate, like 300 and some hours in Baldur's Gate. So like, I don't know what I like clearly. Text. Phone. Speaker. What about like a letter? No. What about inside? I think I played inside. I haven't played Little Nightmares. I played Inside Phobia. There was another one like it. Come for Sation. Wow, I still spelled it wrong. We're gonna blame my nails. Help Commu communicate, speech, chat, paper. I feel like I would hate Little Nightmares. <laughs> I also feel I would love and hate Little Nightmares. But it's one of those ones, y'all know, I am a wimp when it comes to starting horror games. Phone. Idea. Ooh, consult. Dream. Wow. Okay. Service. Oh, not the old lady cat. Brainstorm, meeting, desk, thought. Collaborate and listen. I'll get there. Outline, idea, cock. Okay. Okay. I don't even know if I can spell psychiatrist right. Journal, think, brain, therapy, mm. language. I think it, I don't know, an, like a, a plan, brain, message, concept, blueprint. Okay, we have think, thought, and idea are much higher. Teach. Oh no, not the, oh my god. Couple showings at a pizza place to help raise money for charity? Oh my god. How kind. He's, I know he's been like out and about. Smart. Learn. Inspiration. Concept. Hmm. T coming out here with these big fucking words. Like, I can spell those. Brainstorm. Company. By like school? No. Matter? Problem? Solution? Maybe? Math? Science? Jumbo! Solve? Answer? So, uh, did we do a solution? We already got a solution. Solve? Question? Question! First try. Wow, amazing. On the first try even. Wow, you we are killing it. We're so good at this. We're so good at this. Wow.
be in this part of the stream? Audio is <laughs> wild, just me just yelling random words. You won't believe what's in my pussy. <laughs> it's two whales fucking the shit out of each other. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. How about that part for audio only, Shay? How about that part? <laughs> no, that is a card combo. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> so glad OBS works again. I'm really glad that we had that. Wow. Uh, wow. I hate this job. I hate this place. Most of all, I hate stuffing my balls into a Sega Genesis and pressing the power button. I quit. It's a video game console, right? It's a console. <laughs> I feel old. <laughs> oh my, to be fair, I feel like a, a retro gaming is a very particular um, what's the word I'm looking like interest now? <laughs> like a game? Can you shut up? You shut up. Not a game. Yeah, and it, anymore, it's uh, more of like a special interest, I think, in the gamer community. If you didn't grow up on gaming, you mu you probably didn't know or have one. All right, I guess we'll do a sprint. I think what I'm gonna do this sprint is... What am I gonna do this sprint? I don't know. Little sprinty sprue. My mom is a sp She kinda is though. Like who doesn't wanna meet me m Mommy Malice? Who doesn't? She has a special interest in the gaming community, okay? Uh, what do I want to do this sprint? What do I want to do? Let me pull up my to-do list. Uh, figure out my outfits. Should I gather some outfits and bring them down? And then when we're on break, we can decide what I should take. I'm gonna make a fucking mess. <laughs> or... Although I'll probably do that with you all. I might talk through downloading audiobooks and Kindle books. All right. Do a fashion show? I mean, I don't know if I'm going to try them on, but I'll at least show them to you. All right, that's what we'll do. Okay, timer. We I like to do 35 minutes for our productivity. Match check, hydration check. We'll do 35, 10... I thought that said show us the tits. <laughs> Shay's favorite podcast. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. I love it. Oh yeah, I do actually I do need to make coffee. Oh my god. Yeah, t yeah, that too. All right, 35. I'll see you all in 35 minutes.
Hello, my friend.
Welcome back. Did y'all get some stuff done? Oh, you know what I need to do? Clear old three. Hello. Clear old big booty box. Ha! Clear old four. We mean there weren't any. Oh, I'm sorry. Clear old two. I need to go shorter. Clear old two. Jesus Christ, what the hell? Goodness. All right. Hi, welcome Ian. How is, you know what I'm gonna do on this page, on this one? We're just gonna get rid of that part on this page. Y'all look like you're killing it. Honestly, I got me some coffee now. I'm sitting on a pile of clothes. <laughs> so that we can figure out what I'm gonna wear on vacation. Isn't that cute? It's like the one pastel mug that I have. I love to hear it. The most malicious. I'm, so, I'm such a malicious person. I'm so malicious. 
I googled international packing list and found a great I'm back still hate it. Oh Miller just why don't you DNF it? That works. I don't know. Sometimes when someone gives you a plan, I know with ADHD, if I can't decide on what like what to do or an action plan, someone telling me makes it a lot easier. Tyler, you you fly. You have flown quite a good bit. I would think that you would just have a list. OK, I'm going to tell you my tips and tricks as an ADHD -er who travels. When it comes to electronics and when it comes to, uh, like, personal care stuff, I buy doubles. And I put them all, I keep them all in my suitcase at all times. Made some tea, let's go. I reference- oh, you reference the- well, that's different if you reference the list every time. Yeah, just a little pegging list. Who wants to sign up? You think I'm gonna do the other thing? I don't know, normally if someone tells me to do something, I'm like, Oh, now I'm gonna do it so I don't get- so they don't get mad at me. Why would you pin that? Because it's funny. me it's me it's my pegging list <laughs> you said, yeah when they tell you to do what they're already doing yeah i am i am mm -hmm, i am How to cl oh yeah, like it was phrased as a suggestion. Yeah, merch idea, pegging list merch. There we go. It will be like a little notebook. Uh, it will be a to do list notebook specifically, uh, but at the top it will say like pegging list. No, but we are talking about a packing list. Oh, yeah. Not like a random per- yeah, not a random person, but like someone. Is she really saying that or is that her accent? No, no, we were- we were, you know, just... Yeah. Alright. Let's- uh, ten minutes was not enough. Just- we're just gonna ignore the break time. Casual wear. I- I think... I'm covered. You'll never believe it, but I'm taking black shorts. You'll just never believe the fact that I am taking three different pairs of black shorts. This is not a pin pin situation. No, it is not. Just all the black shorts. Just in case. I might only take two pairs. How long are we going to be there? Like five days. Okay, uh, and uh, now we're gonna get into some options. Do I own shorts that are not black? No. Friends, I own very little clothes that is not black. <laughs> oh, so then... You know, you need, like, some cover-up stuff, like, day-to-day. -day. I might take this. There's a few different options for this. This type. Hang on. Let me, let me stand up. Let me stand up. Ooh, ooh. I own very... <laughs> God, no. I own so much fucking clothes, it's ridiculous. 
I like to think I'm a fashionista, but I just have nowhere to ever go. And you all only see half my body most of the time. All right, we got a few casual. This is one casual dress. It's very simple, right? One casual dress. But don't worry, there's other options. We have... Hold on. I should have sorted these, but I didn't. One moment. Okay, that's fancy. Fancy. That's a top. That's also a top. Those are... Oh, my duck! Oh, my duck! Streamer has legs. Uh, this one is casual. This one's casual. This one's casual. This is casual. Kind of, kind of, ca kind of casual? Kind of? Casual. Casual. Don't fall off the chair. Stay. Oh, god damn. There goes my light. Or fancy, fancy. Okay, the rest are fancy. Okay, I got Yancy clothes. Okay, then I also have this little overall situation that I could just like wear. Just a little overall situation. Kind of does look like a Starbucks apron now that you say that. I feel like I really should put my hair up too because that's how it's going to be most of the time. It's such a good shade of green! So like this is like basically hair up most of the time I'm going to be there. Then we have long casual. Okay. Then we have short teal. Casual. I'm definitely taking this. This is like a rainbow cover up. Definitely, definitely. I mean, come on. Yeah, this is a go. This is a go. 100%. This is a go. You know? Actually, I'm just going to take it off the thing now. It's going. I got this. Put it over here. Going. The second brightest <laughs> item you own. Don't worry. Then there's this pink moment. This is a romper. I think. This might just be a dress. Nope, just a dress. Just kidding. It's so bright. I feel like it's not capturing on camera. I'm going to the Bahamas. Oh yeah, I always wear shorts. Well, I mean, I'm gonna. This is. These are mostly gonna be over bathing suits anyway. Uh, okay, but this is. This one is. I feel like this one's iconic looking. We love a. Yeah, like I love. What it what even is I guess this isn't really a romper, but what is this? What am I thinking of? A sh no, no, cause it's not a dress. It's a it's a um, but yeah, it has pants. It's got it's bottoms. <laughs> A jumpsuit! Thank you! I'm like, why can't I fucking think of the word? A jumpsuit. 
<laughs> Jesus. Like a play suit, yeah. Kind of like that. And then we got kind of like for a goth hippie feel. <laughs> Little monkeys? Wait, why? That's kind of cute. Yeah, we skydiving. This has got like some like crochet detail on it that you can't see because it's black. <laughs> The pants version is a big monkey? Oh my god. I love that. Now I just have to figure out which one of these I want to take. I feel like I'm really leaning towards... Oh shit, I dropped them all. This one I feel like needs to go with me. You know, I feel like it needs to go with me. Well, we're not done. We're not done. <laughs> This is for daily. Kind of kind of wear. Okay, I think we'll take that one. For sure. I'd like to have at least three of these. I'm gonna clap anyway, okay. And then... Of course I'm feeling the black boho dress. But I do feel like the barista overall apron would also be fun. But the pink one? Another one. I need at least uh, two more options from this. So we got black boho, pink, teal. I don't think I'm feeling this one. And then we got the green overalls. I don't think I'm feeling this, this long one. I don't think it's gonna be good for day to day. I'm also, I went through a pink phase, which is I, I ended up getting so much pink one year. Pink and teal? also got overalls like these it'll get hotter yeah but these are just for like walking around like to get to places kind of look like a sleep shirt that's because it's literally a t-shirt dress all right i'll take the pink the pink will go Knocking shit over. Take them all! The t-shirt dress looks like a t-shirt dress. Okay. And then we have... Green. Alright, we'll do green. Okay. I just I'm just gonna start laying shit everywhere. It's just all going places. Okay. Then we have fancy fancy actually I'm just gonna show you. I thought about taking at least one pair of pants, but like a light pair of pants in case it gets kinda cool at night. So I was thinking my Baja blast pants.
Like, I haven't even gotten to wear them yet. So I'm thinking the Baja, ba Baja Blast Pants gotta come with, you know? They are very silky. And I haven't gotten to wear them yet. And they make my ass look fantastic. Not under the pink dress. No. And I think I might, I don't know what I'm going to wear on top yet. Probably just like a black tank top or something. But I do have a bodysuit that's just a black tank top. We'll see. I am a bit of a maximalist. The glutes must always be looking fantastic. I also thought about taking this top as like to wear with the shorts. Hang on, what's going on here? This is how you, this, yeah, it's cute. It's got lots of lace detailing. It's really light. That'd be a nice din-din outfit? Probably. So I think we'll take this as like a, to throw over. Do it, bring it. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. All right. I also have, I did consider doing one more pair of pants, but these I could sleep in technically. They are like thicker leggings, but they're super flared at the bottom. I feel like I could do some disco fever and I could wear like my crop hot pink tank top. They're super comfy. And worst case scenario, if I don't wear them there, I can wear them home. Because they're really, really comfy. Or wear them to bed. Whatever. Okay, we decided against... I don't think I'm going to take the teal. Uh, I might with the black bodysuit. I haven't decided what I'm going to do with the black bodysuit, but I did consider taking one skirt. And either this skirt, that's not even right. There you go. This skirt, which is actually a skirt. This is a skirt. Just kidding, it's not. <laughs> Why do I think these are all skirts when they're not? I could have sworn it was. Okay, never mind. It's just a skirt. Or I can go the jean. The jean skirt. But I think I'm feeling this material. Like the sporty, the sporty look. Yeah. Good look. Good look, y'all. Good look. I did wear this. I think I wore this skirt when we went to. No. I don't remember where I wore that skirt. I, wanna, I thought I wore it when we went to Switzerland. Against Stidham, that's true. But I got so many options. Not in the Baja Bahamas. Okay. Fancy stuff. At the place we're staying, uh, there's places that do have a dress code. Hold up. I'm all wrapped up. Okay, we have this pink option. I don't know if this is my style, though. I'm going to be honest. But I thought it was really cute, so I bought it. But I don't know if it's me. Have fun thrifting! It does have pockets. I 
I mean, when I got this, I specifically was like, this is a, this is a vacation dress. Yeah. Like, this is a vacation dress. Yeah, pockets are a big plus. It does have pockets, which I can't put back in at the moment. Um... Not... I mean, maybe, like, some of these parts match a little bit. Well, oh my god, chicken! Bless. Brian brought me chicky nuggies. Worst case scenario, I take it and don't wear it, right? Like, I put it on and I'm like, mmm. We'll take it. I'll take it. Okay. Oh. Always have to have a black a black dress. But is this too Is this too much? Or just yeah, yeah. It is also longer. I tend to run into, so I I took some dresses on vacation last year, and I just find that they tend to just be a little too short. But this one I feel like is the perfect amount of classy, but also like revealing. With a cat hair on it. But then I'm like, is it too, is it too like, I don't know, city. Is it too city? Perfect for pregnancy. I think it's just because this like hangs down cause there's not a body in it. Yeah, is it like too city? But don't worry, there's, a, there's another option. There's this option. And it has a cutout on the side. It's technically both sides. And I think it has a slit. Yeah, it's got a slit. I love orange. I love wearing orange. It makes my eyes pop. Somewhat. Probably not in this light. <laughs> yeah, that's something. I feel like the black one might be too city. Might be too city, you know? And we want beach vibes, right? So like, we'll take the orange. And then, for just like a more, I don't know, casual fancy? What, like business casual? Not even business casual. Just like a comfy fancy dress. It's longer. This is one of my favorites. One of my favorites to wear. It's very flattering. It's comfy. So I'll probably take it because it's a comfort item. I don't know. I'm just. It's a comfort item. I'm going to take it. Okay, but then we have one. no shoes and this right like it's very like kind of i don't know i'm a 30 year old woman who has her life together vibes and i'm just living it to the fullest the other ones are very i still wish i was in my 20s this is how you dance on the beach by the way this is how you dance. 
Have I ever told you guys about the time that the first time I went to Mexico, my mom entered me in a twerking contest? On the beach? <laughs> oh, my mom entered. Yep, uh huh. So, we went to Riviera Maya, which is kind of similar to Cancun. And we were staying at a resort, and they had all these activities that they did throughout the day. And <laughs> they said it was a bikini contest. And my mom and my stepdad thought it would be funny that while Brian and I were getting food... We had stepped away from the beach when they, they were coming around asking for people to join. They thought it would be funny to enter me because they thought that when they called my name, I just wouldn't go up. So I'm chewing my, my food and all this stuff and they're like the... The bikini contest is going to start. Everyone make their way to like the the center of the beach and we're all like, "Okay, you know, they my my parents are like, "We need to go watch." This is also, by the way, we went with three other families who were my parents' friends. So we get up there and they're like, "Not only is it a bikini contest, but there's a walkway. It's like my uncle Kagi once said, with great power comes great big booty bitches. And they asked us to do our best dances as we were going down this walkway. Or like basically you had to walk, you stopped in the center, you had to do a dance, and then you kept going. And it was basically a twerking contest. They're like, we want to see how how much you can twerk at the end of the walkway this is where it gets real good y'all this is where it gets real good they had three men sitting in chairs that they pulled from the audience one of them was our family friend and you had to dance in front of them I did not back down. Brian brought me, like, immediately brought me, like, three shots. I haven't eaten all this for me and past you. I'm so uncomfortable and I didn't even experience it. He brought me three shots. I made it to the finals, baby. <laughs> I would like you all to know, though, that I did lose to an 83-year-old woman. <laughs> Just came back, what happened the time I lost a twerking contest, a bikini slash twerking contest to an 83-year-old woman that my mother entered me in? Hi, Mariah! I hope you feel better, and I hope you enjoy um, Spirit City. I know that you were using it before, and I saw it on your wish list. I know, to be fair, she had charisma. Hi, Katie, we were all, we were all rooting for her. She was just, she had the charisma. This was not her first rodeo. She had like a, cow, a cheetah cowboy hat on and like she was, she was great. All right. I have two pieces here that I don't know if I want to take, but I, 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 I kind of, I kind of do, but I kind of don't. 
Like I'm up in the air about these. The one, the first one is just because it does give me beach vibes based on the material, but it looks a little complicated. I got this. It looks like a fucking dune dress. Okay. <laughs> Basically, it has this part up here, right? Do I got this one backwards? I got something mixed up here. Yeah. I got the ropes in the wrong way. Is this me ball after dark? Look at them holes and buckles. Yeah, it's beach appropriate. So right, so this top part goes over the you know, go over the goods, but then the bottom part is like really flowy, and it's kind of like chopped up at the ends. And like, does this not give? Does this not give? Goth at the beach. Yeah, goth at the beach. How long should I give myself? However long you need. Saw the stress, looked at me, looked at you. <laughs> Normal day. Watch some pirate vibes. Lady of the lake. So I should take it. Is what I'm hearing. Okay. It did come with this and I don't know what where this goes. Is this a choker? I feel like this might be a choker. I don't know. Yeah, wherever you want. I don't know. Okay, I'll take it. Okay, and then... It's for your neck. I was thinking maybe a thigh strap. It's definitely not a belt. It's like this long. <laughs> it's definitely not a belt. Okay, I have this black duster. Which is a, like, you wear. Not, like, you dust. It's really long, but I thought it could be fun to walk around in, like, and feel like a goth queen. I can't even show it to you all. I just like leave it open, right? Like just leave it open, just wear it, leave it open with a bathing suit underneath. Goth queen Barbie, like one day you're gonna see me in all black and the next day I'm gonna be in neon pink. No in between. I mean, it could be versatile. Leave it open with the top and short. Yeah. But I, it's very thin, so I feel like it would be good. That's literally my sister. Yeah. Over the Baja Blast Pass? Maybe. So I should take it. All right, you guys convince me. I'll take it. You've convinced me. Okay, I think that's it. For my outfits. You wanna see the bathing suits I'm probably gonna take real quick? Oh my God, I got clothes everywhere. <laughs> I knew I was gonna make a mess. Okay, you're never going to believe what color bathing suits I'm taking. You're never you're never going to believe it.
think I'm missing one. Okay. Black? Um, also for the sporty look, black. The best part is, is I do own a neon yellow bathing suit. It doesn't look good on me, but I do own one. Um, also black. This one has like a see-through bit. Oh my god, hello, can I even hold this? Black. Right, okay. But don't worry. We got we gotta wear our Barbie pink. Oh no. Our neon orange! Excuse me, hanger. Fuck off. Our burnt orange! We were alright. I mean, this is literally... Black, pink, and orange is literally... The clothing that I'm bringing. And for the curveball, this is like my favorite bathing suit. Just because it looks very flattering on me. Blue. There's a bot! <laughs> There's a Baja Blast one! <laughs> Literally. Do I have a type? Yes, I do. The blue one is one of my favorites. There's just something about this blue, um, I would say is like my color. Like it looks the most appealing on me. Maybe not right now with the orange hair, but it always looks the most appealing on me. Yeah, black or blindingly bright. Those are the only options. Okay, I'm gonna throw all these over. These go back up the stairs. And my hangers. All right, so next I'll put all the rest of the clothes away. <laughs> all right. Hi, baby girl. I'm putting the desk down, don't get scared. Yeah, I just need a list of colors. That's it. Uh, Brian is in charge of the passports because I will forget it. Okay, thanks for sticking through my fashion show. Today we have learned I wear exactly four colors. So, yeah, if you ever buy me a shirt, it has to either be black, pink, orange, maybe blue. Yellow is the one color I feel just does not look good on me. Although, do I have a yellow, ye a yellow, a yellow bathing suit? I have a ton of bathing suits. I don't know what it is about ba buying bathing suits, but. I hoard them. I think because I forget about them every year. So when summer comes around, I'm like, I don't think I have any bathing suits. Pretty my one yellow shirt so T doesn't hate me. Caramel? I say caramel. Debate amongst yourselves on that. Okay. Back at it. Oh, I feel like I need to change my character's hair now. Uh, 
Oh, that's my skin tone. That's not what I wanted. I mean, that's kind of spot on. I grew up, I mean, I grew up in Maryland. Kamel? Not Kamel. Kamel? What? Like a New Yorker? Caramel is how I say it. Then there's Carmel. Camo. You mean like that? Camo. You put a little camo. Wrong. Does anyone want to pick my companion? Which companion? Oh, hang on. Which companion should first first one that yells it? Spooter. You can't give me an option. Yeah, we had the kitty on this last sprint. That's the cat that we have now. I mean, thanks! It looks better when it's not frizzy and also... A mess. You know what we should do? Sh purple or blue? I love the little spider. Look how cute he is. Purple. We'll go purple. Sounds good. Alright, I think this time I will switch to... Let's go to the bed and do browsing. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. He's so cute! I want a cute spider plushie like that. Alright. 35 minutes, friends. Look at look at it. Look. Don't also don't forget to pet. Don't forget to pet him. Okay. See you in 35 minutes.
How do we do? How do I do? I got most of my packing done. <laughs> I'm sorry. I didn't mean to scare anybody. Yeah, I just have to pack uh, some pajamas. And what else do I got to pack? <laughs> Underwear, stuff like that. And then my carry, my backpack. I'll pack my backpack last, normally. Hi, Vanquish! How are you? You read 21 pages. Let's go! Customer service? Disgusting. I hate that for you. That sounds awful. That just... Mm, gross. Hi, Katie! I am also upset that Spirit City isn't on Mac because most of the time I am working on a Mac. I'm very upset about it. Like, please. Please. Your mate just placed first in the Pro F1. Well, that sounds fancy. Send me a brand new package. There you go. Well, that's nice. To y'all, I've never been to y'all West. I think I'd like to go someday. What is what is the okay? So you're deciding what are like the pros and cons? Why? What would make you not want to go? Money. Uh, we're going to the Bahamas. We go, we go into the Bahamas. So, uh, yeah, it' gonna be, oh, it' gonna be a good time. But I'm go, I'm about to be poor again. <laughs> I feel like this is what I do, you know, just save enough money to go on an extravagant vacation and then be poor again until it's time to do it all over again. You should go to y'all fest? That's exciting! A few hours drive, people are there. Mm. Yeah. That's not very fun. <laughs> There'll be books, Twitch, YouTube. I find that the idea of going to those is much more overwhelming than I feel like it is. And then I get there and like someone will be nice enough to like talk to me and make me feel welcomed. It's better to be poor doing- here's the thing, I'm gonna be poor either way. Like, I'm just a poor bitch, so like, I might as well- <laughs> I might as well do some fun things in the meantime. Worthy of an hour of photo take- oh my gosh, thank you. Thank you, I finally get to, you know, use my wardrobe for good instead of just wearing my 40 sweatshirts on stream. Oh yeah, anytime I've been to any type of book signing where you have to wait in line or any type of author me, I've always made friends in line. Yeah, at least have fun and see friendos. Yeah, that's the other thing. We are going with a bunch of friends. Normally, these types of trips I go with my parents. And by the end of the week, I'm done with them. I'm over it and I want to be home. So, going with friends, I feel like it's going to be a different experience. <laughs> yeah, I I did warn our group of friends. I was like, I will warn you. Around, after day three, I do get a little bitchy. But I feel like with friends, it might be different. Only day three? Yeah, I don't know what it is. On day three, I just start getting bitchy. I told you guys this. It's like day up to day three is fine. So technically it'd be like day four. The third day, it starts to settle in. And by the fourth day, 
This sounds like a challenge. Overstimulated, maybe, because I am used to having a lot of alone time. But we can make it happen sooner. My own family, so I have no idea how I would do with them. My mom... Okay, my mom... For the longest time, I was like, no, I don't know where I got anxiety from. My mom doesn't have anxiety. And then we did an international trip together. That woman was a ball of nerves. And then when we did it the second time, she was somehow worse. I was like, we've literally done this before. So what are we calling days one and two bliss? Just pure bliss. And then day three, it's like the, the cloud comes in. And by day four... Of OT? Of what do you mean? I don't know what OT. Like overtime? Two different genres of overtime? I would probably need to take at least one nap. Oh my god, T. Hear me out. It sounds like your mom might have anxiety. No, truly. After that, I was like, I see it. I see it now. So multi-day trips, yeah, that's especially my family is very when when they travel, they party all day long. I am not I like a good party, but I'm not a party all day longer every day. I like to relax on the beach and read. And that's very hard when everyone around you is hooting and hollering. Oh, occupational therapy? I would have think so, but I don't know. It takes me like four days to relax enough. Yeah, then over in one to two more days. So I'd assume you try out. Yeah, probably. Oh my god, solo trips are really fun, but they are really, really nerve wracking. I traveled to Florida several times by myself to meet friends. Um. It, in a one way, it's very nerve-wracking because it's just you. And so it's like, there's no one else to, like, let you, like, to reevaluate if you're not too sure about something. The good thing is, is that there's plenty of people who will help you. <laughs> but then, it's, yeah, it's kind of nice because then you don't have to worry about, like, someone else the whole time. But I want to chill. Yeah, that's a. I am a chiller. Anytime we've gone to the beach with friends, I'm like, I could literally sit on the beach all day and read a book all day. I could do it all day and they will sit on the beach for like 10 minutes and be like, all right, time to go do something. I'm like, that just saying I could be here all day. Tyler plans I follow only plan food. Road trip solo? I actually much prefer doing a road trip solo than driving with people. Because then it's just like I can just be in my own world. I can listen to things. I don't have to worry about someone being like, that was the wrong turn. That was the wrong turn. And I don't feel, although, like, obviously, when you're comfortable enough with people, you reach like a state of like comfortable silence. But there's always, I feel like, at the beginning, like, that need to, like, fill the silence. Who can also have days going other stuff. Yeah, like, you could read all day on the beach and maybe others go sightsee. Yeah, I think we're kind of going to do something along the lines of that because we were all kind of interested in different activities. So, oh my god, the Paris Hilton? Oh my god. Imagine... Bonk? Why did Bonk echo? I don't know why the Bonk echo. That was weird. How many sprints are we doing? We're gonna do... I think we'll do... One more? What a sequence of events. Did the, did the, I don't know, did the chat make it, I don't know, did it even make it into chat? 
because on mine it said it was restricted. It's only one five point five. I, no, that's the thing though. We, Brian and I do when we go places. We walk everywhere, or we want to go hiking, and everyone else is like, "Why would we do that?" It wasn't Paula. Oh, I didn't think it was. Okay, good. I know. I was so excited. Sheesh. Huh? I don't know what was happening. I don't know. Anyway. Good stuff. Fun stuff. Wasn't that? Wasn't that? Something. I think might have... <laughs> Pasted in the wrong... Maybe. I don't know. I don't know what's happening. I thought that maybe that was the time they wanted me to do for the next sprint. That many minutes. But after the zero. <laughs> That is Shay. That is our friend Shay. Is Vichari. You guys said Vichari. What kind of accent would that be? Would that be like French? French? Maybe not. Probably not. Don't listen to me. Okay. Three million nine hundred ninety-one. Wait, is that three billion nine hundred ninety-one million three hundred and one thousand five hundred and thirty-nine minutes? Oh my God, it worked! Now I already done it. Three billion nine hundred ninety-one million three hundred one thousand five hundred and thirty-nine seconds. Minutes. Seconds. 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 Anyway, okay. Who wants to first person who screams out the spirit? The blob! I do love the blob. <laughs> Tyler! <laughs> okay. He's behind my head. Should we stick to Baja Blast? I don't have enough for the blue bob, so I guess we have to stick. <laughs> Hi, Saruji! I don't have enough for the, the purple and the blue. I think this one's supposed to be like... Syrup. Next time... He tries to... We had the husky. I did the husky for him. Two days ago. On Friday's sprints. I don't have enough money for chicken doggies. So we'll just stick to Baja Blast. Okay, then we'll go to... I'm going to be picking out books this time. For on my Kindle and... We'll sit in the window. It's very beautiful out today. I'm gonna run the timer in here for like five minutes so that I can get my daily done. My daily there done, so if you hear that, just ignore it. Isn't it so cute? Look! Oh, look at the way he jiggles! Oh my god, he's so cute! He's one of my favorites, probably. I do love him. I don't wanna knit though. Hang on, I don't wanna knit. I don't knit. Unfortunately, I do not knit. Okay. Timer 35 10. We'll see what we get done from there. I'll see you 35.
Ball?
Harper Collins.
Welcome back, everybody. How we do? Stingrays? Yeah, I'm down for stingrays. Shut the fuck up. You're a fucking cunt. Shut the fuck up. You're a stupid cunt. Suck my dick. You ready? Oh. What about the brain? I don't know. He's been doing yard work all day. Ooh, good stretch to it. All right, ready? One, two, three. P for papas. It's a papas party. P for papas. It's a papas party. Yay! Yay! I'll tell him to to look when he has a second. <laughs> brain, brown brain, brain, brain. Friend, you wanna help me pick what books to take? No, I just moved that duck. Cause he fell. Busting your nuts. In a Sega Genesis. Yeah, I remember when Keisha asked what book to take and I picked two. Ignored all of you. <laughs> okay. I am taking at least one physical book. I would like to take two physical books. The first physical book I am taking, no matter what, is going to be Book Lovers by Emily Henry. I just don't own a copy yet. I'm going to pick one up Wednesday. Tyler just wants to be. Oh my goodness. I have already read it, but we are reading it. We're all going to read it on the beach together. Yeah, but at the airport, it will be more expensive. Second physical book should be... I don't know if I have that many suspicious covers. I'm trying to think. If I have any that are like really out there. Yeah, it's gonna be cute. I read it and I really liked it. Um, so hopefully we'll have a good time with it. I think it'll be fun when we read it together and we'll just talk about it together and I think it will just be fun, you know? How to murder your spouse in the Bahamas for dummies. So then I have a few other I have a few other options to take physically. Only paperbacks. Because traveling with hardcovers is rough. A few. Okay. I could go big. I could go big. I read the first one in this series. I technically own the ebook, but I started annotating the series. And I really loved it. I loved the first one. Probably one of my favorite romantices to date. And so I, w I would like to start... Well, I technically have started this, but I got distracted because I decided I was going to annotate it and then I didn't have the time. Because I'm going to be there a few days, this would probably be my only other book that I would read on the beach. Do you not know that one? That is because I believe this is self-published, but it is... The first one is so good. It's between... Uh, this one's between Despair and Hope. The first one is... God, what the fuck is the first one? Why can't I think? I made... Between Wrath and Mercy, I made Vanessa and Amanda read this, and they both enjoyed it, too. Yes, I will annotate at the beach. No, I got me, I should have brought it down. I got me a fancy pin holder that like, you pull it down. 
Yeah, you can entertain anywhere. I'm entertained all the day. I've entertained on the train. I've entertained on the plane. I've entertained uh, out and about. See ya. See ya. <laughs> what? What? What is with the dad jokes tonight? So, <laughs> I have this pouch, and when you open it, it will still stand up. I'll entertain anywhere. So, I love... I figured I might want a romantic I like romance in the summertime. So, I might want a romantic But this is a big fucking book to carry. It's really heavy. It is. Look how tiny this fucking fawn is. Hi, Cardam! Maybe? It's tiny fucking font. I'm abandoning you! <laughs> I will play Fortnite mobile just for you. <laughs> okay. Welcome back, Gooby! So then my other thick option that I would probably also annotate is I have not read... Oh, what's it called? The Bastard series. The something Bastard series. Anyway, the first one is The Lies of Locke Lamora. Fortnite Mobile on the Beach. Let's go. It has to be the exact word. And it has to be the first word. I'll leave y'all behind. Yes, I'll, well, I'll get to that. These are the physical books. You don't like these? <laughs> I like enough of people. Oh my god. I was lagging so fucking hard last night in Fortnite. It was rough. Maybe I was gonna go get milk from the store and be right back. Where am I going? I'm going to the Bahamas. So, T and Keisha and I all have this. The Gentleman Bastard series, thank you. I'm like, it's a bastard something. <laughs> Shay. <laughs> yeah, CO did use my lagging course for bait. Course? Did I say course? Corpse? Pajamas. I'm going to the pajamas. You found them boring? Mmm. It is also the beginning of a series. Pajama Mimas! Okay, then our, our medium sized paperback is The Hunger. Now this now we're getting into horror. We had our fantasy picks. Now we got our horror pick. Boulder. Boulder's gay. Three. You DNF the hunger. Listen, you DNF so many things. <laughs> I'm not even surprised. <laughs> I actually don't know much about this. Uh, evil is invisible and it is everywhere. Oh, this is about the Donner Party. I don't know. How do we feel about the Donner Party? It's very, very dry, writer. Interesting. This might also be one I would rather listen to. But I own the physicals, so I thought... Maybe. Like, out of this, I might be the, the most hesitant for this one, but I probably wouldn't mind reading it. Okay, then my two little picks. Yeah, from where we use it, it's true. So, the one with the cool pages is Our Wives Under the Sea, which feels a bit on theme. I 
I feel like this could be a fun one. This is about uh, basically this woman's wife comes back from like, uh, is it a deep sea trip or something? She comes back from a deep sea mission and things have not gone the way they were supposed to go. I don't even care what it's about. <laughs> We're here for the vibes. Not very beachy, but it has the C in the title. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll annotate down to the bottom of the ocean. Uh, the fun part is, is this book I bought in London. So if I take it to the Bahamas, this book will have done some traveling in the world. Which I always think is fun. I don't know. And I believe Books and Lala like this, so I feel I will like this. If Books and if Kayla liked it, I feel like I will. Paperback of the traveling plants. You literally just could have called it like Sisterhood of the Traveling Paperbacks. I'm busting a nut. Workshop it. Normally, you're always giving me the Shut titles. The I should have put a motherfucking limit on that. You're a fucking cunt. Shut the fuck up. You're a stupid cunt. Suck my dick. <laughs> I gave CO too much power. <laughs> And then the last physical. How do I get all these perfect? Who knows? Who knows? The last physical one I have is actually an arc that comes out this month. It's the Dead Cat Tail Assassins by P. Jelly Clark. One of my favorite, favorite authors. I don't request arcs often, but I did request this one because I just really wanted I really want to read it and I do believe I think this is also fantasy yeah and it's about some sort of I only have three unbreakable vows as they are sworn to the matron of assassins All of them. <laughs> I'm getting there! These are just the physical books I'm taking. <laughs> okay, so either the two small ones or the big one. Okay, but not the hunger and not lies. Okay. Okay. I do have the big one as an ebook. So if I really, really was feeling it, I can read it on the ebook. Hunger has too many. Okay. The other one sounds cool, but the cover is a miss. The oh, you don't like the dead you don't like this one? Fucking assassins? Wow. Shut the fuck up! I'm going for the cat one, of course. Okay, now we're gonna get into, uh, okay. I got, oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. Brian, this was my, this was my iPad, then it became Brian's iPad, and now it's back to be my iPad, but it's kind of a mess. I doubt, so, okay, I'm gonna show you, I have, I have the, the romance right there. But then I have Heavy Oceans downloaded. Oh, I keep forgetting to hydrate. This is water. Just sparkling water. I don't normally like people in the covers. But I don't mind this one. I think because it's pretty dark. 
So I do have the romantic one, the big one on ebook if I really want to get to it. And then I have downloaded Heavy Oceans because that is an absolute must to read. Because that is our book club pick. So then I have some options. Okay, okay. We're going to go to the screen. I could download hate mail. Okay, these are going to be my romance options. These are audiobooks now. Audiobooks. This is called hate mail. Um, and I believe it's about, yeah, hilarious chain of hateful letters slowly develops into a friendship span spanning coasts and years. Excuse me. I do think I'm, after I read Book Lovers, I might be in a romance mood. Because I'm probably going to love it so much, but I'm only going to be able to do one romance. One other romance, I think. Because then after I've done the two, I'll probably be romanced out. The characters will start running together. So there's that. So I feel like this could be cute, but then the other one is just for the summer. Which I also have the audiobook of, and I have heard that this book is better than Emily Henry. Anything that Emily Henry has put out. And I do, I own the audio of this. So I could download this audio. The website is, this one is a uh, story graph. This is in a series? Oh. I guess I do own part of your world. They don't look like they're in a series. I feel like it's one of those ones where you don't have to like read them together. Like they might have a character in them from from book to book. Yeah, loose. The, yeah, I figured it's just like the characters might appear in the other books, kind of deal. Companion kinda. It's weird with romance. So those are my romance options. I feel like I'm probably drawn to just for the summer more. Possibly. Come to my house faster, dang it! Then I figured... Oh, I technically do have... Okay, hang on. I do technically have two other romances, but they're quite different. They're not contemporary romance. They're quite different than this. And they're also shorter, and they're ebooks. I need audiobook options, so the, this one will probably be my audiobook option. Y'all seemed more excited for this one. So, my ebook options for small, shorter romances that are more fantasy romance. Providence Girls. It's only 210 pages. Um, and it's queer. A little bit of horror in it. Uh, alone in a cottage, Lavina writes to the woman she loved. 15 years ago, middle-aged Lavina escapes her hilly Massachusetts town where the townsfolk decide to sacrifice her on Halloween. They're almost dying in the woods she saved and housed by the stoke and mysterious acid house? Azzy on the coastal outskirts of East Providence, they start to fall in love. However, things change when Azzy, their secret past and the strange cars on the side of her neck begins to transform into an eldritch creature of the deep. I do. I love, I love historical fantasy. Providence, girls. I do believe this is on Kindle Unlimited, by the way. 
Is this Kindle Unlimited? Cosmic Horror Limited, yep. The personalized? This feature is currently being enabled for your account. I do have the StoryGraph Plus. I've had it for more than 24 hours too. I was going to say, yeah, an ad just started, so. Right? Like, imagine it doesn't work out. And then you have a god as your ex. Like, damn. Imagine. So there is, plus it's, it seems like there's water on the cover. So there's that. The other option is Heart Haunt Havoc, which is also queer. And is shorter. Meets the criteria. <laughs> When lonely transgender exorcist Colin finds himself challenged by an unruly haunted house in Gideon, Colorado, he's kept awake by ghost demons, ghouls, and the handsome non-binary owner of the house, Bishop. Unlike the simple hauntings Colin is accustomed to, Bishop's house is a living beacon, attracting a plethora of inhuman creatures, including a vengeful wolf-headed spirit who might be the key to quieting their sleepless nights. But as a heartbreaking mystery unravels, Colin comes face to face with the past Bishop tried to bury, opens a closet full of bloody skeletons, and trips into an accidental romance. As paranormally skilled as Colin might be, this particular haunting may be too messy for him to handle. Fallout is a- it's a show! Welcome back! Fallout is a show. I think Brian's been watching it. Uh, so I do have the StoryGraph Plus, but I don't have the personalized option. It is a game series as well. You're gonna see a lot of people playing it for the first time, I feel. I was gonna say, Julie, you gave it five stars. I saw that. So I have these. What I could do, these are both smaller. So I feel like I sh could just download both of these because I have them both on Kindle. So I just download Province Girls and Heart Haunt Havoc. Downloaded. This uh the other one is also Kindle Unlimited. So that way. Oh my god, so the homeowner hires a Ghostbuster, then the Ghostbuster sleeps with a spooky paranormal creature causing the Ghostbuster? Maybe. Take them all! Yeah, I'll take Wives Under the Sea, I think. <laughs> to see my review of her, yeah! I mean, I'm going to assume that this is still an enjoyable. Like, this is, would still be an enjoyable read to me at 3.75, so. Two of you have at least liked it moderately or more. So. Oh, 
Okay, so those are my other ebook options. Then we have, you know, I don't think I'm gonna, I was gonna originally, I thought about taking Listen for the Lie, but I don't think so. I don't think I'm in a thriller mood. This is another ebook option, but I think this one is bigger. The only reason I have this one on here is because it's called Silent Key is because it looks like there's a scuba diver on the cover. And it's Laurel Hightower, who is one of my all-time favorite authors. Horror authors. So... Maybe. This is about really with the grief of her loss and the realization that the man she loves is a stranger. She must learn how to keep her young daughter safe from a world of supernatural she never knew existed. With the help of her best friend, Demi, and neighbor, she sets out to solve a decades-old entangle mystery entangling the me of her obsessed killer, of an obsessed killer, her husband's mistress, and a series of deadly hauntings. I was never scuba diving. I was never gonna scuba dive. One moment. Silent Key by Laurel Hightower. I kind of wish it was an audio, but I don't believe there is an audiobook of this. That's the one bad thing about being really into indie horror. Is that there's not... There's there's no audiobooks. Yeah, this is ever in. So I could I could download that one. Give me my ebooks. Download. Okay, we'll download that one. The other audiobook. I downloaded both of the, the I downloaded the Providence and Heart Haunt Have It because I figure if I end up not liking one, at least they'll be downloaded so I'll be able to read them. Okay, so this one is The Worm and His Kings. And this is in 1990, New York City. Monique learns the hard way that her, after her girlfriend Donna vanishes without a trace, only after the disappearance of several other women does she hear the rumors. There's a town of monsters stalking the city's underground. So now she must descend deeper into the unknown underground, into a world of cultists to shadowy figures. A darkness that stretches from the dawn of time and across the stars. And this is an audio. I believe it's only um, a few hours. It has really good ratings for... Oh no, it just got some good ratings. It does sound good. So I could download one romance audio, and then I'll download this. We're going for five days. <laughs> but I'm gonna need options in case one doesn't work out. And I have a feeling I'm not gonna be able to download things. I mean, I guess there will probably have Wi-Fi and whatnot, but I'd rather just have them downloaded. So I don't have to worry about it. Okay. Clear all. What's this one called again? The worm? The worm. It's only four hours long, too. 
the audiobook. So I could probably have that done in like probably while we're just waiting for the plane to take off. The balance, yeah, the balance is rough. That's a plane, like, yeah, literally. <laughs> we are worms! Yeah, this one seems like a good time. I did go through uh, on Everhand, and I actually made a list of all the 2024 releases that are currently on Everhand that I've been excited for. At least the audiobooks of them. I don't know if they have the ebooks. So that's been the familiars on there, by the way. I I don't think I ended up remember how I was concerned I pre-ordered too many copies. I actually didn't pre-order any. <laughs> So there's that. Yeah, I was so busy worrying about Sunbringer and I pre-ordered three copies of Sunbringer and I didn't remember the familiar at all. Yeah, because I thought I had ordered the Waterstone Special Edition, but apparently I didn't. That's where hate mail. Um... So many, so many good ones. I considered this one, but then I saw... Hang on. I want to learn more about this audiobook. I don't want to listen to it. I just want to learn more about it. This one, it said that there was a PDF that goes with the audio, which means to me that there's probably pictures involved. You can make lists. The only problem with making lists is that they still have to be in your saved list, which I don't particularly like. Because sometimes I just want to make lists of things, but I don't want them in my saved all the time. Because the moment you remove them from your saved, they disappear from the list. Which kind of makes me sad. Almost a movie. Yeah, this one sounded really good, but I do think I'm going to want to read the physical of it. Yeah, that's... I'm not a big fan of the way they do their list. I want to be able to make li separate lists of things. Instead of all of it saving to, like, my saved list. And then, like, I want... I don't want them to, like, overlap. Oh my gosh, Milo, that sucks! So there's been a lot of good things come out. Not the best book ever was a solid fantasy read. It sounds intriguing. I need a list of lists, right? Like, the thing was, is I made a list of all these Christmas, cozy Christmas books because I thought about doing a video, and I still might in the future, but I don't want them on my saved list all the time. I only need them at Christmas time. Oh yeah, I pretty the whole Stephen Graham Jones book cuz uh we're also reading My Heart is a Chainsaw which I will finish before we leave. We're reading that the whole trilogy at least the audiobooks are on Everant. Everant just doesn't sound as good as Scribd. It just doesn't sound as good. Anyway. I mean, I have a bunch of cozy Christmas stuff. The problem isn't the stuff, it's the fact that I can't remove them from my list. Because then they'll disappear when I would like to just have a separate list for them. But if you move something from your save list, it disappears across all your lists. 
Yeah, this name, I don't, I hate it. It's not good. I don't like it. I also really wish that they had a like new, like just added section. I feel like a just added section would be fantastic, but then I guess, then I suppose the problem would be that everyone would be checking those out and then they would just be constantly unavailable and then people would complain as they do about, they're always like, Everant cut me off, but it's because all of the copies that they have have been downloaded for the month. Decided to take all the physical, download all the Kindle, and found a four-hour audiobook. Well, technically, I have two audiobooks. I have the four-hour audiobook, but then I also have the Just for the Summer audiobook. But I have it through Book of the Month, so I have to download it on my phone. Oh, wait, we're not taking all the physical. We're not taking all the physical. We're taking the two short ones. The two shorty shorts is what we're taking. That's what we're taking. Do I need a third audiobook? I don't think so. I'll listen to an audiobook on the way there. I might listen to an audiobook on the... No, I'll likely read something on the plane. I really enjoy reading on the plane. When I get there, we'll read Beach Read. I don't know how long that would take. But then... When we're reading our own things, I will likely pick up one of the other physical books because I enjoy physically reading on the beach. I'll likely finish whatever physical book I have with me. Then I'll read another ebook on the way home, depending on the length. And then I'll probably listen to something on the way home. Book Lovers, Reckless Girls, and the Unhoneymooners. I enjoyed the Unhoneymooners. Dragons, damsels, and dildos. I mean, you know what? If you know what you like, and and you can, if you can download it. Why not? Why not? Why not this tell you directly in the title exactly what you're getting? So have I over downloaded? Yes. Yes, I have. But what if I were to start one and realize I don't like it? Then I wouldn't have another option, you know? We're just, you know, we're just getting our options, our options ready. And I am a mood reader, so what I'm feeling today might not be what I'm feeling on vacation. So that's why I try to do a variety of genres as well. We need a second tablet just to download. Well, that was the thing. I used to have a Kindle. I would not recommend a Kindle to anyone because it comes downloaded with so much junk on it that you cannot remove. And I could only really download one audiobook maybe and one ebook or two ebooks. And then that would be it. Oh my god, what what is on me? Have fun on a motorcycle. It's only fair as a reader, right? They're Kindles? I hated mine. I went back to an iPad. I hated it. Brian does tend to carry books for me. Because his his backpack tends to be 
much less things than mine. I have I have a Kindle Fire and a Kindle Paperwhite, and I didn't enjoy either of them. I actually don't mind reading on my phone that much. I have read full books on my phone before. Read on my phone? It's just, yeah, it's just convenient. Could you get my cover artist a tablet of some kind? Because she's back in the reading now. Ooh. It's not, yeah. I need something that does both. I also download a Spotify playlist. I actually have a splay, a playlist? A playlist. I have a playlist called the Mile High Club. And that's where I put all the music that I'm currently really into and listen to on the plane. And I just download that playlist. And they tend to be more like chill songs. Or the last time I went, it was just Kesha. All of Kesha's work. <laughs> all of a wonder. And I'm trying to think who else was on it. Halsey, I think. That was it. I love this playlist. Gravitate to my iPad. I think it's just because the iPad just is like, I don't know, you can do the most with it on top of that. Bye, big booty! Got the Samson tablet for a cross stitch app. That is it. There you go. Got make a lo-fi playlist. To be fair, that's me all the time. I can't ever spell shit, I feel. Alright, actually, while I'm thinking about it, I'm going to download just for the summer on my phone. I have so many fucking reading apps anymore. It's wild. Oh, which format do you plan to buy your book of the month? <laughs> Oh my god, where do you currently get your your audiobooks? Audible, Libby, Libro. I forgot about Spotify. <gasps> I think just for the summer is on Spotify. I forgot all about Spotify. We need a Spotify one as well! Uh, okay. I would like to listen to... I'm gonna download just for the summer on my phone, though. Fuck! Uh, do you only get so many hours? Yeah, 15 hours per month? I think I'm gonna open up my... Sp I'm gonna open up Spotify here real quick. I think we're gonna see... Search. I would like to look at just audiobooks, please. How do I find audiobooks? Fiction and literature? Mystery? Spicy? Horror? Horror? What they got on here? Oh my god! Oh look, they got Stephen Graham Jones on there too? Oh my god, they got some like brand new shit! For, I thought they only had old books. Oh that sucks, Miller. Okay, let me let me see this horror fiction. What we got? What we got? Oh, they got pinata, stolen tongues. 
Oh, let's check new and trending. Hmm. Interesting. I don't. I for some reason I just thought they just had old books. They got all kinds of shit on here. What moves the dead? To be fair, a lot of this looks very silly. Like, I think you can pretty much find all these on every end. So I do wonder if these are like... Oh, I love the Black Tongue Thief. If it's like a similar pro... Like, I wonder if they get their credits from a similar source. Very interesting. Suffer the children. I have an account on Pango Books, but I don't get on Pango Books. Oh, I do not. I think I'm at my limit <laughs> of book sites. 15 hours isn't worth the price? I mean, if you're just looking for an audiobook, like if you're a casual reader and maybe you read one a month. Like this would be completely fair because you're not, this isn't the service that you're paying for. This is just an additional part of the service. And like, this is a good selection to choose from. Near the bone, that was a... Uh, that was... that was... fine. I'm trying to remember... oh god. Yeah, it's a nice perk if you already have premium. Like, I'm gonna... I pay for premium no matter what. Because I... like to download my music. I hate ads. I use it on stream. So, like, I also have the, it was the Hulu Spotify premium package that doesn't exist anymore. And I don't want to give it up. I don't want to give it up. I refuse. They'll pry it when it, when they remove whatever, whatever the code is for that subscription off. Let's see most popular in the genre. The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo. See, we all got that Spotify Hulu package. We ain't giving it up. Technically, I think we have two Hulu accounts because Hulu was also included in Brian's Disney Plus package. Maybe a little less wider range. Um, I use... It's Libro FM. So when you buy audiobooks, although it might not be in the Netherlands, it's when you buy audiobooks, you get them. I want this is probably like a US service now I'm thinking about it. But when you buy audiobooks, you buy them from a independent bookstore, basically, instead of purchasing them through Amazon, the money goes to an independent bookstore. So that's where I have a lot of mine. Actually, I don't even know. I'll have to see what I even have on my account on there. I am really impressed with this. There it is, just for the summer. If anyone else wants to listen to it, it's on Spotify. <laughs> I love Hoopla, too. On Audible? I have an Audible subscription just because they... 
they gatekeep they gatekeep audiobooks so they have like the audible presents and they're only available in audible so you can eat both audiobooks that's kind of like how every Ann is You don't have a credit, you just pay for the subscription and then it's what however many things you want throughout the month. Good night, Leanne! I hope you have a good night! Good stuff. There's Book Lovers is on here. People we meet on vacation is on here. Beach Read is on here. They don't have, but they troll me with a bunch of Oh, yeah. Hoopla, I hate. I hate. Or they'll have the audiobook and not the ebook, or the ebook and not the audiobook. That drives me nuts, too. Drives me a little insane in the membrane. Why? Oh, I was like, why does this red, white, and royal blue look like this? But that's the movie. Did anyone watch the movie? Was it was it good? Was it as good as the books? I can find most of the graphic novels I can find on Hoopla that I want to read, and most of the YA books that I want to read are on Hoopla. But other than that, I have a hard time. You like the movie better than the book. Interesting. Because I feel like a lot of people are hating on it. That's how I kind of feel with Daisy Jones and the Six. Hello. Hi, Mick. I definitely liked... Daisy Jones and the Six show probably more than I liked the audiobook. Although, just be fair, I've only really liked Taylor Jenkins reads The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo. That's probably it. Better than the book? Yeah. I mean, the book was interesting. It just, I don't know, it just wasn't... Wasn't really what I wanted. I I hated Malibu Rising. Hated it. Love Daisy Jones. Yeah, I hated Malibu. I loved the first part of Malibu Rising. And then the second part, I fucking hated so much. It didn't matter that I liked the first part. I would also say anyone who liked The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo needs to read. Oh my god, is it. Hold up. City of Girls? City of Girls. Well, it helps if I can fucking spell. City of Girls? Yep. Yeah, like, fuck off. Honestly, Pizza Cat, Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo is... City of Girls is also... Check my phone. Okay, BRB.
The boys are back in town. Who doesn't want seven husbands? Has for so long I fit. I loved the seven husbands. Ooh, woo. Good shit. It was some good shit. Welcome, ma'am. Okay, what else was I saying? I don't even know what else I was talking about. I don't know. I'm now I'm distracted. Brian needed things. All right, I got my TBR. Got me some McDonald's. Let's go. Oh God, can you hear that? a small screw for my keyboard. <laughs> I hung my keyboard up. Oh, you guys can't really tell. I hung it up. What? See? Oh, no. Oh, no. I should still, like... Find my face. Yeah, it's good stuff. Oh my god, put my camera too far. He needed a. Uh, he was like, I need pliers and a trash bag. I don't want to know up for. It. He's outside. I don't want to know. Hi, baby girl. You went up. Nope. Okay, you're gonna sit right behind my chair. She, you're gonna regret that when I move. Right? I'm like, what do you need pliers for? He's just cutting the grass. What do you need pliers for? No dental records. That's true. That's true. Tyler, that looks insane on my screen. Absolutely insane. <laughs> Cause in OBS there's no BTV or anything, so it just is all the words. Harold is a real skeleton. Didn't hear it here. Ever tell you about the time that uh, I went yard sailing with my mom and we accidentally bought a baby skull? You only see the words, yeah, technically they're emotes. But it works with BTTV. We didn't know what to do. We were like 95% sure it was a real skull. Baby skull. Excuse me, no spamming. No spamming. Excuse me. Call the fucking police. <laughs> <laughs> First the twerking contest, now the baby skull. We also accidentally bought an urn one time that had ashes in it. <laughs> accidentally bought an urn. It was like one of those uh, storage unit things and you buy like stuff from the storage unit <laughs> and we accidentally <laughs> opened it up and I'm like, oh my god. But the people selling that shit are real criminals. They weren't like things that we were actively trying to buy. <laughs> yeah, one time we dug up the grave of Queen Elizabeth. You want me to move? Oh, you okay? You good? You want me to move that? It's in your way. 
You look so sad. Are you a sad little girl? Do you want to come sit up here? No. Okay. Nothing. 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 Nothing happened. I can't. It's just like these are the just. I don't know. These are just things that happen. At like what? What do you? What do you do? What do I keep like putting on myself? We ended up taking the urn to a church, and we let them do what they want with it. I accidentally gained possession of a demon. I don't know how it happened. I mean, the first time I did a Ouija board was with my mom. So there's that. I was absolutely scared out of my fucking mind that night. That's probably the most scared I have ever been in my life. It happened twice as a pattern. <laughs> Makes a lot of things just really make sense, right? My mom is so innocent. My mom doesn't have anxiety. She doesn't. Look at all this shit she does. Look at all this shit she does. No fear. Just does them. This is the woman who learned to pee standing up so that she could just pee in front of people. What the hell am I supposed to do with this? I gained possession of a demon and now we're dating. That's a definitely a book. I feel like I've definitely seen that. <laughs> Your mother's child. Truly. There were times where sometimes I, I would think that like I was the mom. Cause like she just be that time I got drunk and saved a demon. Yeah, that, I think that's the title of the book. Because she would set her mind on something. She'd go off and do it. I think I have the audiobook of that. I got drunk and saved a demon. I think I got it for Shay to listen to. <laughs> the more things about me all make sense. Tell mental illness is create listen. I actually love my mom. My mom is probably my bestest friend. She's a very good mom. She's very nice. And she's there when I need her. And she thinks that I am very strong and smart. But my mom is also a partier. <laughs> that time Allie's mom got drunk and bought an urn with ashes. And perhaps a real baby skull. She learned to PC it up so she could show people? <laughs> Not at this point. <laughs> Give it another two hours. Jesus. I mean, before she learned that, she would light her farts on fire, so... I don't- I don't know. I'm a very normal, average person. It's all coming together! <laughs> Putting her mom's business out there? No! She would show people these things! This is not like a secret talent! My favorite mother meme all stories when Frankie ate rat poison and <laughs> my mom just running around. Literally just running around. <laughs> oh my god. Every stream I'm like, this person lives in a soap opera. <laughs> like, girl, we're not paid to be your therapist. <laughs> oh my god. Me, mother, and me, ma, at it again. 
She knows about Meemaw Persona. She's the one that got me the root beer candies and the candy dish. <laughs> I mean, that's like what she was doing. She was like running around. This is what my mom does when she's like panicked about something. <laughs> the flapping. Frankie is fine. The thing about uh, ADHD people is that they become very calm in stressful situations normally. So I was very calm about the whole thing. Meanwhile, my mother... <laughs> Meemaw, your fart's on fire again. <laughs> I can't... I'm trying to think of, like... I'm sure there's other crazy things that my family has done. We did once set up a uh, axe throwing arena in our backyard. And we were out there playing in the dark most of the time. Uh, yeah, as you do, as you do. Been fired for building a <laughs> Agent Smith. What the fuck is this? Are you high at work? How old were you when we were axe throwing? Oh, like at like twenty four, probably. It wasn't that long ago. Well, I guess at this point it was it was like over five years ago, but it wasn't like yeah, in the dark. Cause that makes sense. My mom, okay, my mom is such a sport because she did film me. Hang on. She did film me when I did the axe part in my vampire video. Hang on, we gotta bring up a clip of this real quick. Cause it's like my favorite thing ever. Uh, wait, 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 so, I did bloopers when I did my vampire. Yeah, that's the other side of the family. Some bloopers. Um, let's just watch this whole thing. Spooky as hell. But there's a part in this. Where... There's an axe in the woods, and my mom had to spray blood on me. To become one. It's a soap opera and religious cult. It really is. Just kidding, because these are really hard to talk in. I <laughs> love it already. Stage fright. <laughs> you have an audience. So I spent... So I spent... These are really hard to talk in. Holy shit. In the yeah, she had in the woods. She had to spray blood disgusting. on me. Disgusting! It's disgusting <laughs> a lot, and mostly as a guide as to how to attract and. Of course, of course, of course, of course, of course. You hear the bottle scream. You have to beat that out. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe that's what heads being cut off sounds like. <laughs> so I had to find out more. I wanted to find a favorite. <laughs> <coughs> the cough about fetishes. The Civil War and what caused it. And oh, I already forgot. <laughs> Cut. <laughs> this is just bringing back so many memories <laughs> for me. What? Don't make that face at me. <laughs> the main problem is that. What are you doing? I can literally see you. She's coming in to look at you. The teeth are very hard to talk in. No. <laughs> what? <laughs> Trying 
walking backwards. <laughs> no. You're gonna run right into a tree. Despite the ones that came before it. Excuse you. I don't think they had labels back in Abraham Lincoln's time. I know, I, tried to, I was trying to pick them off. It could be okay. okay. No, no. You want me to put blood over it? can't be left. No. Okay. It'll be okay. I'm not that concerned about it. Okay. I mean, I'm missing nails and everything else, so. You got blood on your hand. It'll be okay. Oh, that's a bit short. Still warm. <laughs> Oh my god. I just realized my sleeves are rolled up. <laughs> That's Damn just it. the look. Damn it, I'm gonna start. I have to start from the beginning. Well, now I gotta wait for you to leave. <laughs> I really hope you can't tell I'm wearing sweatpants. <laughs> the phone to all the opera. Phantom of the Opera, but he's a vampire. <laughs> That's right. This <laughs> shit, Booktube significant right. others have seen. Yep. Okay. Grady Hendrix's story is set in the 90s and it follows stay at home mom Patricia. Stop making faces at you. <laughs> Need to prove a club with my face. Quick, stop Brian just giggling the whole time. <laughs> You want more? <laughs> you want more? <laughs> oh. No, let me try again. <laughs> Girlfriend, that is the longest drink of all time. <laughs> Grady Hendrix's story is set in the 90s. What are you laughing? I'm just giggling. <laughs> the books that I read, even though it is the least. <laughs> just. In the death of our nation. <laughs> <laughs> that was pretty fun. <laughs> Blast. Did I bring my oven mitt in? <laughs> what am I doing? <laughs> Why did I just feel like beetle juice? <laughs> Me. <sighs> <laughs> that one took a while to die. throwing out that coffin. Oh. No. I'd rather you not do that. Is this where you even just decided to lay down? <laughs> Did you just let out your anal balls? <laughs> I don't like it. I love you too. There's nothing to it. Please don't. Please don't. I nearly died but the Over coffin here. was ready. You stink! You stinky. You're a stinky little girl. Yes, you are. Go lay down. No! <laughs> You're gonna ruin my vampire bites! The blood that I was using was chocolate, this by the way. In quarantine? What'd you do in quarantine? <laughs> Build a coffin. Hmm. That's not weird at all. And I'll probably end up forgetting a lot about it. <laughs> <laughs> that was so fun. <laughs> it's fun for you. I got a blonde mustache. <laughs> and that. Damn it. Ooh.
Janet. God. <laughs> Every time. Why must there always be children outside? <laughs> My mom lives in the middle of nowhere. Like, do they just hang out in front of our house? So, walking out of the woods was it nothing. It was nothing. Oh, this is several other characters. I was quite surprised. <laughs> Always children screaming outside. What's happening outside? What is going on? <laughs> What's happening? I think I birthed this. What did I do? I have a big red recording studio sign, and everyone knows it. Well, <laughs> damn it. Damn it, Janet. So, you know. Coming out into the middle of the woods, alone, during hunting season, to do this. <laughs> can't breathe. Can't walk. It's hotter than the hubs of hell out here. <clears throat> My brother lives right there. He's probably looking out his window like, what in the fuck is she doing? <laughs> I don't know. This is what happens. This is what happens when you got a weird ass sister like me. <laughs> anyway, this is what this is what happens. <laughs> anyway, my mom had an absolute blast shooting me with chocolate syrup in the face. Stranger in the Woods, Story Honey season the plot of a character wanting to leave this show. I had a lot of fun with it. She had a lot of fun with it. Glad I went on. Yeah. Be your siblings? The thing is, is my siblings are so different from me that, like, we really don't hang out. <laughs> Come on, everybody, and do a little clap. We both had so much fun with it. This is what I mean when I say my mom's my best friend. We just have the most fun together. We do this thing sometimes. We used to hang out every other Friday. I haven't been able to do that because my work schedule changed. And we would do like a dance session. We would get to her house and we would sing goofy songs and we'd have like a weird dance session. This is what is <laughs> required to make a YouTube career. This, it's this. We did have a lot of fun with it. It was it was a good time, and then everyone liked the 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 uh, the outcome. Brian helped me film the graveyard scene, as you saw, and it took a while to get that right. Cause first he couldn't walk backwards, and then he kept just laughing at me, which then made me laugh. It was a good time. I love to do something else like that again, but it takes so much to do. All right. Is there anything you ever wanted to film? There's lots of things I wanted to film. Uh, I wanted to do one like that called the Final Girl Showdown. And instead of, like, set up like vampires, they would all be like final girl scenes. And I had like all these scenes planned out, but it just like became overwhelming to try to film because nothing turns out quite like it does in my head. <laughs> Why are you in the woods during hunting season would be a nope? Well... I did have them bright red, so hopefully. I mean, I lived. Maybe they saw me walking out of the woods earlier with blood all over my face and they were like, I'm good. I'm good. I mean, I lived. <laughs> I feel like that's like half my experience. I'm like, I mean, I lived.
anytime I want to, anytime I'm just feeling kind of sad, I pull up the video of my mom just shooting blood all over my face. <laughs> Let's go hunt somewhere else. Let's turn it into some wrong turn territory here. There's bloody people walking around. Imagine you just walk into the woods and there's someone blood all over their face. They're in a trench coat. A lo uh, the coat I was wearing was a long black like trench coat thing. And an axe. What does one do? <laughs> I'm trying to imagine like attempting to film that if I lived anywhere else. And something tells me it would not go as well. I don't want to get blamed for that. Let's get McDonald's. <laughs> All right, friends. It is, I believe it is time for me to go do things with my life. It's very, very beautiful out here today. So I would like to enjoy some of the day Wow, there's still light. Oh, there go my lights. Speaking of. Police will be everywhere in moments. Yeah. That's fair. Then I'd just be like, you can lick the, the blood off. It's just chocolate. Thanks so much for hanging out with me. Um, ooh, ooh. Hi, Shane. I will. See, I won't see you guys anymore until the Thursday after this one. <gasps> you can like the blood off. will definitely make everyone. Yeah, it'll make everyone feel better. No, no, it's okay. Just lick the blood off. You had to go so long without me. I'm so sorry. It's okay, because when I get back, I think we'll have one week, and then I'm going to do three 13-hour streams. Back to... Or three 12-hour streams. They'll probably be 13 hours, because I'll never know when to stop. Three 12-hour streams. <laughs> Find some merch. <laughs> Thanks so much, friends. Shit that happens on your ho- No, it's gonna be a relaxing time. When I get back, we are gonna do a just chatting stream. And I'm gonna probably show you all the pictures and tell you about everything that we did. But in the meantime, I'm gonna send you over. Who, who, should, I, who shall I send you to today? Ooh. Ryan is streaming and I Ryan streaming Stardew Valley. I really enjoy Ryan. Very cozy vibes. Very very lovely community. So let's go raid Ryan. I'd feel like I never get to raid him because he streams either at different times or he normally finishes before me. And so, uh, he has raided here a few times. So normally he raids me. What in the world, Tyler, have you been doing? Um, what, what is up with the mods today? What is going on? Was that me? I assume so. I don't know. It wasn't me. <laughs> I am the same mod. Sure. Sure. They get a week off, right? 
You don't think you made that one? Sure. 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 All right, friends. I'm pretty sure my bestie Shay will be streaming tonight. So make sure you go see Vichari. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. I think I just accidentally logged out of Restream. Okay. I don't know what that means. Oh, bye-bye. Okay, bye. Okay. Bye, everybody. Bye.